co-generation for the next generation. Don't waste that waste. The African continent is growing fast. We have many natural resources which our industries use to produce things like sugar, rice, wood, tea, paper, and many other goods. But all these industries need both electricity and heat for their production, and these are very expensive. On top of that, our industrial production generates a lot of waste. Let's take an example of a sugar factory. In this factory, the sugar cane gets crushed to obtain sugar juice. For that, the factory needs electricity. The sugar juice needs to be boiled to remove the water to produce sugar. For that, the factory needs heat. At the end of the month, the factory has to pay for both electricity and heat, and it is left with a lot of sugar cane waste. But wait, there's a way to make things better. Cogeneration, an exciting technology which can transform agricultural waste, also known as biomass, into both electricity and heat. How? Let's go back to our sugar factory. The sugar cane waste can be burned to heat up the water and produce heat. The heat generates steam which moves a turbine and that movement generates electricity. The factory doesn't have to pay for electricity or fuel to heat the sugar juice as it uses its own agricultural waste. And it may even be possible for the factory to produce more electricity than it needs and to power the homes of its workers. Sugarcane is just an example. Core generation can work with many different waste materials such as straw, rice husks, wood chips, tea waste and so on. Needless to say, core generation is a cost-effective and environmentally friendly technology. It reduces pollution by using already available resources to bring electricity to our industries and to our rural communities. And it can create more job opportunities for local people too. I hope now you can understand why cogeneration is so exciting for Africa. For more information, visit www.afrepren.org/cogen.